What could stop the IoT? Nah, there's no stopping. The, the train has left the station. We will have uh, over 50 billion connected devices generating over 50 trillion gigabytes of data. It completely transforms uh, what the businesses can do. You could easily have 10 connections per person. Your car, your smart meters, uh, consumer electronics devices, they could all be connected. It's kind of the solution du jour. Everybody, like, well, it's IoT. Let's just IoTify that device, and then we'll be fine. We can solve your problem with IoT. IoT is so complex. It takes into account so many different types of devices, so many vertical markets, so many use cases, so many applications. If it was easy, you know, everybody would be doing it. We'd be racing towards 50 billion already. The concerns about connectivity, the concerns about cybersecurity, the concerns about privacy are just going to increase in scale. They're going to increase in scope. And most importantly, the stakes are going to be so much, so much higher. I think a lot of companies have accidentally bet lives on security. Not all, but most devices coming to market are almost completely absent of security. That's why I call it the Internet of Broken Things. Uh, if those things are attacked, it could be life and death. Initially, it's about this is cool. But cool doesn't pay for 20,000 units to be installed with hardware. IoT will go where the ROI can be made. You know, the old saying, knowledge is power, knowledge is profit. And if you don't take advantage of that to drive that, I think you're going to be left behind.